the analogy is that you start off with something that appears unachievable, right? How are you going to cycle from Adelaide to Sydney? It, 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 you know, it's just like self-supported by yourself, one bike, off you go, right? So it starts off with that vision, which seems impossible, right? Aim big, aim high, you know, really do something that is going to make you so proud uh, in the future. And it's something that you so believe in that it's going to take you through those dark times, right? Then do research, right? I stood outside George Street in Sydney, outside camera shops, because photographers were coming out of those camera shops and interviewed everybody that came out of that camera shop for a week, right? And sat there. If you had a platform that did this, if you did that, if you want to sell photos, do you sell photos? What photos do you take? You know, all of this. Question everybody to make sure that your assumptions are good and then live and breathe it. Do it yourself. I had to, I'm not a professional photographer, but I had to teach myself photography. I had to live it, right? Get out in the field, take those photos, understand rejection. Nobody bought my photos this weekend. What's that about, right? Um, you know, understand why that is. Understand your audience. Then understand the, the event organizers, what they want out of it. Is it financial? Is it, um, is it a repository? Is it free photos? Is it sponsor engagement? What is it, right? Mm -hmm. And then you you have to get a team around you for some somehow because you've got no money, right, at this stage, yeah. you have to then say, will you come and join my team? And will you start to talk to photographers? Or will you help me build the website? Or will you help me do something here? Because I can't do everything myself. I don't have all these skill sets. So then it becomes just get people in that believe in you, right? Believe in your vision, believe in your dream. And it's very powerful when people do that, whether that's people that want to work for you for, you know, free lunches or, or uh, you know, weekends or whatever, through to investors, right, that believe in you at very early stages. You know, they believe in your goal. They believe in you as a person. They believe in the team that you're growing. But then you have to get yourself through really hard times. <clears throat> you know, COVID, you know, we're a sports technology platform, yeah. right? COVID shut down for two years. We didn't lose a single employee. Um, and uh, everybody worked towards the to 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 the future of the company. We set off in start of COVID to come out of that in a better way than we went in. And, it, and the analogy is with long distance cycling, right? Set off with an impossible dream. There's always going to be a hill. You always look at that hill and kind of go, I'm so tired already. It's so hot, you know, whatever. But, you know, you keep one foot in front of the other. You keep the wheel turning. You do something, you know, to get there. And eventually you get to the top of that hill. There might be a little decline, but there'll always be another hill, right? But eventually you get to Sydney. And eventually you sit there and go, I did that. This is amazing, right? That's what it. I'd say to new starters.